Good evening, everybody. I feel like I'm at home when I say that to my kids and no one answers me. Good evening, everybody. Great, uh, great to see everybody here. Uh, you know, it's been a wonderful few days here at Brockton High. It started, we were here Friday night for graduation at Huntington and, and Keith Center. And then, of course, Saturday was unbelievable at Brockton High. Uh, graduations at Marciano and the weather was beautiful. So I just want to welcome everybody here tonight. Uh, the Student Recognition Awards is just something that we as school committee members and superintendent, we just love to do. And uh, the best thing is we can do it in person this year. So I, uh, I just want to uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, I am really, uh, I, I'm really, really thrilled to, uh, to be here. So I'm going to ask everybody to please stand. We're going to salute the, uh, the American flag over here to my right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody. So again, this program is, uh, is, is a little different than in years past. Many of the activities we uh, typically celebrate, of course, were canceled, unfortunately, because of COVID-19. However, in the most unusual of years, our students always continue to shine, and, and that's the box away, right? We're box are strong. And uh, many of the, the people you see up here are also proud graduates of Brockton High. And, uh, you know, I graduated in 88 and the superintendent graduated in 87, so he is older than me if you do the math. I do want to kick it off tonight, uh, and I'm going to ask Superintendent Mike Thomas to please come to the podium as we begin this wonderful night. I just want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. No matter where you go, if it's college or the armed forces or the workplace, as I said on Saturday, Brockton is always home. and never forget that. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I want to say welcome to our students and parents and how proud I am of you all, uh, especially doing this and achieving what you have achieved um, during a pandemic and being pretty much out of school for 14 months and out of school and then remote learning, then hybrid, then full in. Um, it's great to see you out here and um, it's just great to be with you again. I want to thank the parents your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, your brothers and sisters and other family members for supporting them over the, this difficult time. We, uh, your support of the Brockton Public Schools and hanging with us in this last tough 14 months is much appreciated. Um, I'm, the da I'm the father of three daughters and uh, one's in high school, one's in two are in middle schools um, and I would be um, honored if they ended up like your children. So uh, you should be very proud of them. So first, I want to call up um, why some of our student honorees could not be here tonight. We will still read their names and give them well-earned recognition. The first award we'd like to give out tonight are to our JORTC leaders. Please join me in welcoming Chief Warrant Officer Justin Corvero to, to the stage so he can read the names of the students. Um, students, please step onto the stage using the stairs to my right as I ask you to please hold your applause until the last student in each category has received their award uh, and please make sure you put your cell phones on silent. Thank you. So, um, <laughs> Chief Warren Officer, come on up. All right, good evening. We would like to recognize our top four cadets who have been recently selected as the cadet leaders for the JROTC program for the remainder of this year and next year. JROTC is a character and leadership development program. Our students are frequently given opportunities to develop skills key to leading their peers. The four students we honor tonight will be given the enormous opportunity of leading and managing the program's administrative, operational, and logistical actions necessary to support school and community activities. Their ranks, names, and positions are as follows. Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Alini Alves Montero, Battalion Commander. Cadet Major Kimberly Samedo Vaz, Battalion Executive Officer. Thank you. 
Cadet Major B.J. Allen Pelez, Battalion Operations Officer. And Com Cadet Command Sergeant Major Samantha Blanchard, <laughs> Battalion Command Sergeant Major. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. We're always so proud of the JROTC program here at Brockton High, which has been a great program for several years. Next, I want to introduce the Director of Music Education here in the Brockton Public Schools, Michael Smith, and our Choral Director, Matthew Cunningham, also a Brockton High School graduate. Actually, I was his dean when he was in high school, so that shows my age a bit. Uh, they will present the All-State Music Festival Awards. Welcome. Good evening, everyone. We are very proud to teach in a community where the arts aren't just a priority, they are a part of the city's identity. Throughout the pandemic, the young people we will honor tonight and their classmates repeatedly uplifted the community with virtual performances, and more recently, an outdoor performance on the steps of our fine arts building. We thank them for their perseverance and commitment to excellence. The Allstate Music Festival is normally a two-day festival that takes place in the Seaport District of Boston, and the students perform a culminating concert at Symphony Hall. This year, however, they had to move virtual due to the pandemic, and so these singers, along with 200 of the best singers from across the state, uh, spent a Saturday afternoon on Zoom rehearsing under the direction of Dr. Jeffrey Redding from the University of Central Florida, and they put together a virtual choir video uh, to represent their hard work. So we're very proud of these students, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce them to you. So our student musicians for the 2020-2021 All-State Chorus are as follows. Hilary Clark. Rebecca Chagas, Joey Banks, Giovanni Antunes, Khalil Callender, David St. Aud, Nicholas Canal, and Roy Albaez. How about another round of applause for our singers? Thank you, Matt and um, Michael, we really appreciate it. And thank you to our students with our choral and music programs, they're second to none. Um, next, I want to welcome to the podium Athletic Director Kevin Cairo, who will present the All Scholastic Athletic Awards. Mr. Cairo. Good evening, everyone. As you know, the All Scholastic Awards are given annually to student athletes who are leaders in their chosen sport, but most importantly, in their classroom. Playing in a Division I athletic program, like the one we have here at Brockton High School, is very challenging, but tonight's honorees have remained focused on their goals while spending more time at home and less time here at school working with teachers and coaches. They looked inward for the motivation they needed to continue to perform at a high level 
And to me, that is the true definition of a champion. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our student athletes who have earned all scholastic honors for the fall season. Helton Brandeo, Zachariah Foster, Jalen Mendez, and Gennaro Reynosa for boys soccer. Representing our girls soccer team, Lena Marion and Jara Rodriguez. Our golf team members, Owen Talbot, Brady Harkins, and Jimmy Dragonetti. And for field hockey, Lacey Moran and Caroline Green. Boys cross country, Nick O'Connell, Mamadou Tichamo, and Caleb Dean. And Caleb is also one of our All Scholastic for Boys track. Girls cross country, Sarah Bullock and Nicole Dunbury. And Sarah and Nicole were also honored for All Scholastic for Girls track. Joining them, Anya Rizzo, Ella Dunbury. Okay, in volleyball, Jaslyn Pang. And moving into our winter season for boys basketball, Isaac Lane, Navon Reed, who was also named an All Scholastic for football by both the Enterprise and the Boston Herald, Vanilton Xavier, who was also a Boston Herald All Scholastic for boys basketball, in swimming. Kaylee Mastrizano and Asher Miller. In our fall two season, representing boys track, Dervin's Blouse and Jean Carlo Galvo Duenes. In football, Devante Medley, who is also a Boston Herald All Scholastic honoree. Noah Moore, Nazea Amor, and Rodrigo Lima. Congratulations, everybody, and have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cairo. I, too, played basketball here at Brockton High School. I won the award for the slowest basketball player ever to play at Brockton, in the history of Brockton High School. So thank you for not reminding everybody of that. Next, I want to welcome up the vice chair of the school committee, Mr. Mark D'Agostino, and he's going to present the Science and STEM Awards. Good evening, and uh, I just wanted to quickly, before we continue, say that on behalf of the school committee, you know, we really uh, admire the achievements that you've all made, and uh, this time of year is really the best part of our job, where we get to honor all of the students in the Brockton Public Schools, both here and at graduation and at moving on ceremonies at schools across the district. Um, it really is the, the best part of, of being on the school committee, is to be able to come in, at this point in the year and honor Sorry, the glasses fog up with the mask. Um, but to honor all of the achievements of our students. And, uh, you know, 
like the superintendent said, I, you know, I have a six-year-old just finishing kindergarten, and um, you know, I, I, again, similar to what the superintendent said, I'd be honored if, if my son ends up achieving at the level that your kids have. Um, so with that, <clears throat> uh, first we have Christian Nichols. Christian Nichols recently won the Frederick P. Fish um, Patent Award for his submission to the Massachusetts Science and Engineering Fair. Christian can use the $50,000 award to patent um, his invention, an AI program that can detect fossils during paleontology expeditions. Um, and I hate to admit it, but I just learned a new word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is Isabel Stacco? Uh, Isabel Stacco won a thousand-dollar EverSource scholarship award for her submission. Her submission to the Massachusetts Science and Engineering Fair. Isabel is also the valedictorian for the class of 2021. Okay, next we have um, Hiwa Nadai. I apologize if I didn't get that right. Um, she rece Hiwa received a silver medal and a $50 award at the NAACP AXO competition. And finally, we have Stephanie Amanzi. Uh, Stephanie Amanzi finished third in third place in the Region 5 Science Fair. Um, and I want to just congratulate, oh, sorry. So I want to congratulate uh, Christian, Isabel, Hawa, and Stephanie. Um, again, like I said, we're so proud of the of all of their achievements, and you know, especially in the midst of this pandemic, the last 14 months, and all the roadblocks that uh, that these kids overcame, um, and they didn't let anything that that uh, was thrown at them the last 14 months stop them. And I, we really, you know, uh, I really admire them. Um, so with that, um, we'll invite uh, Mayor Sullivan to come up. Thank you very much, Mr. D'Agostino. I mean, it's obvious from what we just saw with these great youngsters, uh, the next generation is, is going to be spectacular. I just want to take a moment to congratulate each and every one of you, those that have done so well academically, athletically, those that performed wonderful here on the stage, the AXO program and the science fair. Congratulations. I also want to just take a moment to personally recognize the school committee by name. Uh, Tom Minicello was here. Uh, Tony Rodriguez is here, Tim Sullivan is here, Cindy, uh, Cynthia Rivas Mendez is here, Judy Sullivan is here, uh, Joyce Azak is here, and uh, again, Mark D'Agostino is here as well. And uh, I think uh, the superintendent said he was awful slow, but he had a pretty nice jump shot, as I recall, back in the day. But uh, listen, I just want to say congratulations. This is your time to shine. Uh, your future is really, really in, in your grasp right now. So keep it up, stay well, stay safe, and God bless each and every one of you. <laughs> School committee members now, we will take a recess and go back into the little theater and reconvene to our regular scheduled school committee meeting. Thank you, everybody.